Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Justin Anthony and I'm one of the founders of Artwork Archive. And usually our videos have been focused more on inventory management, organization, and how Artwork Archive can help you save time and run your business. Today we're really going to be focusing more on how you can use Artwork Archive to showcase your work and show who you are as an artist. And how you present your work is a major part of running your art business and can be time consuming and complicated. So we're going to go over today how Artwork Archive simplifies that process and helps promote yourself, your artwork, and generate sales. I want to begin by going through some of the more popular internal sharing tools and later on I'll cover the public profile and some other features that help you gain exposure, boost SEO, and share your art with the world. So let's start with our reporting tools. And right now I'm on the pieces page and this is where most people start. I happen to be in list view, which I prefer because it gives me kind of a bird's eye view. If you're more visual, you can click gallery view and it sorts it like this. But let's hop back to list view. If I wanna generate a new report, I basically click on reports. And the first one we're gonna look at is the inventory report. So you know whether you're presenting your work to a potential client, gallery, or anyone that has interest in your work, it's important to present yourself professionally. And rather than having to use multiple programs and taking time pulling information from multiple sources, we offer quick and easy ways to generate elegant looking reports. And this can be a major time saver. So in the inventory report creation page, you can basically see that I can custom name this report. I've got a number of things that I can choose to include or exclude. So in this particular case, we're including price, size, medium, and, a, and you know if they wanted information on weight because this was gonna be used for shipping, you can do that as well. If I'm doing something for a gallery that also wants to be able to have access to the original image files, which is really helpful for exhibitions, I can click this box and those will be included. But choosing which pieces to be included is as easy as clicking a button and moving them over. I can do that manually, or in this particular case, I'm choosing to share just pieces from a particular collection. I click that, add the pieces, and then generate the report. And as the report generates, you're going to see that I can, be, I can share this, I can either view it, I can download a copy for myself, I can copy the URL or I can share it directly. And we're gonna come back to that momentarily. So let's take a quick look at this. And the inventory report shown here is one of our most popular reports. And it's really a great way to share the work you wish to present along with details about each piece. Since you can choose to include or exclude a wide variety of information, these reports are also incredibly versatile and can be used for a wide variety of purposes. For those situations where you really wanna showcase the image, say when showing examples of past commissions to a potential new client, the portfolio page is a great option. So let's take a quick look at that. And here's one here. They're generated the same way inventory reports are, but in this case, you see a high resolution version of the image up top, as well as the details below. You'll also notice there's contact information <coughs> you choose which contact information is shown there, and if you have a logo, that can be included as well. So we have countless other reports in the system and make them all easy to share with the click of a button. Uh, anytime you see a triangle next to a report, that means you can view, download, copy, and share it. And because Artwork Archive has a full contact management system, the second you click share, you can choose any of your contacts to share that with, and it's as easy as clicking a button. So let's hop over to My Docs. And you know, throughout your career, there's gonna be times where you need to share more than just your art. There's gonna be these occasions where you're gonna to need to share documents about your background or documentation about the work itself. And My Docs is a great place to store all those documents so you can access and share that information quickly. This is great for CVs, bio requests, and any type of application. So here you can store grant proposals, residency proposals or applications, press clippings, any documents you want because other is basically a catch-all. And so this is acting as kind of a central repository for all the documentation related to your art and your art career. And once again, you see the triangle theme. Sharing is as easy as a click of a button. In this particular case, I can also edit some of the documents as well. Let's hop back to pieces quickly because one other thing I wanna cover before jumping into the public profile 
is our presentation mode. And one of the questions we get a lot is, you know, what's, what's the best way to present my work on the go, say if I'm using a mobile device. So this little icon right here on the pieces page shifts this particular program into presentation mode. So if I were to click it now, it would be presenting all my works. Let's say I was just going to a client who was only interested in that geometric collection. I put that filter on, I click presentation mode, and then I can just slide through this on my iPad, iPhone, or Android device. Or if I'm on a laptop, I can just click through it as I'm doing now using the buttons. So that's a really handy way to showcase your work when you're on the go. So now let's move on to how Artwork Archive helps you share your art with the rest of the world. And to do that, we're going to take a quick look at the public profile. So in this particular case, we're looking at Sophia's public profile and we're on her portfolio. And the, the, the public profile is a great way to showcase your most up-to-date work and who you are as an artist. And it's meant to be a complement to your existing web presence and is a great source of additional exposure and solid SEO boost. And SEO, for those of you who don't know, is search engine optimization. So the short version of that is basically this helps boost your search ranking. You can see here that this links back to her own website as well as her various social sites that she's chosen to share here. If I want to connect with her directly, I can message her here. I can also inquire about an individual piece. So let's say I'm interested in this particular work of art. I can click here and inquire about that and a message will be sent directly to Sophia. I can also share this on various social channels. And one other unique thing about Artwork Archive is in the event you work with a particular shopping platform, you can include that shopping link when creating this particular piece and a purchase button will appear here. And we do not take any commissions. Our job is to foster direct connections between buyers and artists and we frankly don't want to be part of that relationship. We love the idea of these people being able to contact you directly. So in the event you do work with Shopify or WooCommerce or Square or PayPal, you simply include your link when you're creating the piece in our system and the purchase link will appear here. So it's just one other way to kind of simplify the process of someone purchasing your work. The other thing about the public profile I want to mention is you have total control of what you share and which pieces you share. So you can choose which pieces of information you want to include. If you want to hide prices, you simply click this and prices are not shown. If you want to include a particular piece, it's as easy as toggling it off and on with a click. And similarly here, as you've seen me use filters in the past, I can filter things to share single collections or just things from a particular medium. So this really makes it easy to turn on and off what you wish to share. We also have this My Post feature, which functions as a blog. So not only do you have your own about page where you can talk more about who you are as an artist, but you also have a news page where you can keep your fans up to date on behind the scenes, upcoming shows, and any other information you want to share. If you do have your work grouped into collections, there's also a really easy way to showcase your work by collection. One other thing I want to mention is if you are sick of double entry, because all of us have websites and have to have our pieces up in multiple places and, can, and it can get pretty overwhelming, um, so if you're sick of double entry or just looking for an elegant way to include your gallery on your own website, we just launched an integrations feature that allows you to embed your gallery view on your own website no matter what the platform. So we're working with WordPress, Squarespace, Weebly, Wix, Faso, um, and all the major platforms out there, including ones that if you've designed yourself. You simply embed a short little code snippet and you can put this so it appears on whatever page you happen to use for your website. Another major benefit to having a public profile is the fact that all public profiles are included in our discovery platform. And for those of you who are not familiar, discovery is the site used by collectors, designers, hoteliers, architects, just buyers of all types to discover art. So here we've got a featured artist for this particular week, and then a wide variety of other artists below. So everyone with a public profile is included in Discovery. So say I'm opening a hotel in Denver and wanna be able to search for local artists, I can simply click there and then have 
the ability to see artists in my own backyard. So discovery is a great benefit that comes along with having a public profile and is just yet another way that the product helps you get exposure. So we've got a lot more in-depth breakdowns of these individual features on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash artwork archive, as well as a recent webinar that goes more into the benefits of inventory management in general. And I encourage everyone to check them out. So thanks for taking the time to learn a bit more about this feature and have a great day.